Comment 207 tells you that you should use the answer you got from the previous part. Um, now, if you get this comment a lot, you really need to be on the lookout in exams for when part A and part B might be linked. They're not always linked, but you can tell they're linked if they mention what looks like roughly the same thing. So if um, part A was all about some sort of quadratic, um, maybe completing the square, um, and then part B mentioned something that looks roughly like that, then that is a classic sign that part A might be of use to you in part B. So the real issue with comment 207 is if you get it a lot, um, that's a real um, call to be on the lookout for connections between part A and part B. Also be on the lookout for the expression hence or otherwise. That tells you um, that you'll probably be able to use something from the previous part. It doesn't make it compulsory, that's why it says or otherwise. Um, and um, for goodness sake, if you haven't succeeded in cracking part A, um, but you need a value from part A for part B, just literally write, pretend I got 7 for part A. I literally write that, pretend I got 7 for part A, and then work with part B, and then you'll at least um, get all the marks av available for part B.